Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deo Sabaoth, plenis uccelli et terra, gloria tua, usana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. The bittern and Arisius shall possess it, and the ibis and the raven shall dwell in it, and a line shall be stretched out upon it, to bring it to nothing, and to plumb it, unto desolation.
the nobles thereof shall not be there, they shall call rather upon the king, and all the princes thereof shall be nothing. And thorns and nettles shall grow up in its houses, and the thistle in the fortresses thereof, and it shall be the habitation of dragons, and the pasture of ostriches. And demons and monsters shall meet, and the hairy one shall cry out one to another, There hath the Lamia lain down, and found rest for herself. There hath the Arisius had its hole, and brought up its young ones, and hath dug round about, and cherished them in the shadow thereof, thither are the kites gathered together one to another. Search ye diligently in the book of the Lord, and read, Not one of them was wanting, one hath not sought for the other, for that which proceedeth out of my mouth, he hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. And he hath cast the lot for them, and his hand hath divided it to them by line. They shall possess it for ever, from generation to generation they shall dwell therein. The joyful flourishing of Christ's kingdom, in his church shall be a holy and secure way. The land that was desolate and impassable shall be glad, and the wilderness shall rejoice, and shall flourish like the lily. It shall bud forth and blossom, and shall rejoice with joy and praise. The glory of Libanus is given to it, the beauty of Carmel, and Cern. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the beauty of our God. Strengthen ye the feeble hands, and confirm the weak knees. Say to the faint-hearted, Take courage, and fear not, behold your God will bring the revenge of recompense, God himself will come and will save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb shall be free, for waters are broken out in the desert, and streams in the wilderness and that which was dry land, shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the dens where dragons dwelled before, shall rise up the verdure of the reed and the bulrush. And a path and a way shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way, the unclean shall not pass over it, and this shall be unto you a straight way, so that fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor shall any mischievous beast go up by it, nor be found there but they shall walk there that shall be delivered. And the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and shall come into Sion with praise, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads, they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Sennacherib invades Judah, his blasphemies. And it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Ezekias, that Sennacherib king of the Assyrians came up against all the fenced cities of Judah, and took them. And the king of the Assyrians sent Rabsaces from Liches to Jerusalem, to King Ezekias with a great army, and he stood by the conduit of the upper pool and the way of the fuller rest held. And there went out to him Eliasim the son of Helshes, who was over the house, and Sabna the scribe, and Joe the son of Asaph the recorder. And Rabsaces said to them, Tell Ezekias, Thus saith the great king, the king of the Assyrians, What is this confidence wherein thou trustest? Or with what counsel or strength dost thou prepare for a war? On whom dost thou trust, that thou art revolted from me? Lo thou trustest upon this broken staff of a reed, upon Egypt, upon which if a man lean, it will go into his hand, and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king or Egypt to all that trust in him. But if thou wilt answer me, we trust in the Lord our God, is it not he whose high places and altars Ezekias hath taken away? and hath said to Judah and Jerusalem, You shall worship before this altar. And now deliver thyself up to my lord the king of the Assyrians, and I will give thee two thousand horses, and thou wilt not be able on thy part to find riders for them. And how wilt thou stand against the face of the judge of one place, of the least of my master's servants? But if thou trust in Egypt, in chariots and in horsemen, and am I now come up without the lord against this land to destroy it? The Lord said to me, Go up against this land, and destroy it. And Eliasim, and Sabna, and Joe said to Rabsaces, Speak to thy servants in the Syrian tongue, for we understand it, speak not to us in the Jews' language in the hearing of the people, that are upon the wall. And Rabsaces said to them, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee, to speak all these words, and not rather to the men that sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung? and drink their urine with you? Then Rabsaces stood, and cried out with a loud voice in the Jews' language, and said, Hear the words of the great king, 
the king of the Assyrians. Thus saith the king, Let not Ezekias deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. And let not Ezekias make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us, and this city shall not be given into the hands of the king of the Assyrians. Do not hearken to Ezekias, for thus said the king of the Assyrians, Do with me that which is for your advantage, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the water of his cistern, till I come and take you away to a land, like to your own, a land of corn and of wine, a land of bread and vineyards. Neither let Ezekias trouble you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. Have any of the gods of the nations delivered their land out of the hand of the king of the Assyrians? Where is the god of Amath and of Arphad? Where is the god of Sepharvaim? Have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Who is there among all the gods of these lands, that hath delivered his country out of my hand, that the Lord may deliver Jerusalem out of my hand? And they held their peace, and answered him not a word. For the king had commanded, saying, Answer him not. And Eliasim the son of Helshes, that was over the house, and Sabna the scribe, and Joe the son of Asaph the recorder, went into Ezekias with their garments rent, and told him the words of Rabsaces. Ezekias, his morning and prayer. God's promise of protection. The Assyrian army is destroyed. Sennacherib is slain. And it came to pass, when King Ezekias had heard it, that he rent his garments and covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliasim who was over the house, and Sabna the scribe, and the ancients of the priests covered with sackcloth, to Iaias the sons of Amos the prophet. And they said to him, Thus saith Ezekias, This day is a day of tribulation, and of rebuke, and of blasphemy, for the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be the Lord thy God will hear the words of Rabsaces, whom the king of the Assyrians his master hath sent to blaspheme the living God, and to reproach with words which the Lord thy God hath heard, wherefore lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. And the servants of Ezekias came to Aias. And Iaias said to them, Thus shall you say to your master, Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, with which the servants of the king of the Assyrians have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a spirit upon him, and he shall hear a message, and shall return to his own country, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own country. And Rabsaces returned, and found the king of the Assyrians besieging Labna for he had heard that he was departed from Liches. And he heard say about Therachia the king of Ethiopia, He is come forth to fight against thee. And when he heard it, he sent messengers to Ezekias, saying, Thus shall you speak to Ezekias the king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God deceive thee, in whom thou trustest, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hands of the king of the Assyrians. Behold thou hast heard all that the kings of the Assyrians hare done to all countries which they have destroyed, and canst thou be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them whom my fathers have destroyed, Gazem, and Haram, and Resef, and the children of Eden, that were in Thalassar? Where is the king of Amath, and the king of Arphad, and the king of the city of Sepharvaim, of Anna, and of Ava? And Ezekias took the letter from the hand of the messengers, and read it and went up to the house of the Lord, and Ezekias spread it before the Lord. And Ezekias prayed to the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who sittest upon the cherubims, thou alone art the God of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline, O Lord, thy ear, and hear, open, O Lord, thy eyes, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which he hath sent to blaspheme the living God. For of a truth, O Lord, the kings of the Assyrians have laid waste lands, and their countries. And they have cast their gods into the fire, for they were not gods, but the works of men's hands, of wood and stone, and they broke them in pieces. And now, O Lord our God, save us out of his hand, and let all the kingdoms of the earth know, that thou only art the Lord. And I Aias the son of Amos sent to Ezekias, saying, Thus saith the Lord the God of Israel, For the prayer thou hast made to me concerning Sennacherib the king of the Assyrians, 
This is the word which the Lord hath spoken of him, The virgin the daughter of Sion hath despised thee, and laughed thee to scorn, the daughter of Jerusalem hath wagged the head after thee. Whom hast thou reproached, and whom hast thou blasphemed, and against whom hast thou exalted thy voice, and lifted up thy eyes on high? Against the Holy One of Israel. By the hand of thy servants thou hast reproached the Lord, and hast said, With the multitude of my chariots I have gone up to the height of the mountains, to the top of Libanus, and I will out down its tall cedars, and its choice fir trees, and will enter to the top of its height, to the forest of its carmel. I have digged, and drunk water, and have dried up with the sole of my foot, all the rivers shut up in banks. Carmel See these figurative expressions explained in the annotations on the nineteenth chapter of the fourth book of Kings. Hast thou not heard what I have done to him of old? From the days of old I have formed it, and now I have brought it to effect, and it hath come to pass that hills fighting together, and fenced cities should be destroyed. The inhabitants of them were weak of hand, they trembled, and were confounded, they became like the grass of the field, and the herb of the pasture and like the grass of the house tops, which withered before it was ripe. I know thy dwelling, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy rage against me. When thou wast mad against me, thy pride came up to my ears, therefore I will put a ring in thy nose, and a bit between thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. But to thee this shall be a sign, eat this year the things that spring of themselves, and in the second year eat fruits but in the third year sow and reap, and giant vineyards, and eat the fruit of them. And that which shall be saved of the house of Judah, and which is left, shall take root downward, and shall bear fruit upward, for out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and salvation from Mount Sion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Wherefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of the Assyrians, he shall not come into the city, nor shoot an arrow into it, nor come before it with shield nor cast a trench about it. By the way that he came, he shall return, and into this city he shall not come, saith the Lord. And I will protect this city, and will save it for my own sake, and for the sake of David my servant. And the angel of the Lord went out, and slew in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and eighty-five thousand. And they arose in the morning, and behold they were all dead corpses. And Sennacherib the king of the Assyrians went out and departed, and returned, and dwelt in Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the temple of Nezeroch his god, that Adramluk and Saras or his sons slew him with the sword, and they fled into the land of Ararat, and Asar had his son reigned in his stead. Ezekias being advertised that he shall die, obtains by prayer a prolongation of his life, in confirmation of which the son goes back. The Canticle of Ezekias In those days Ezekias was sick even to death. And I Ai as the sons of Amos the prophet came unto him, and said to him, Thus saith the Lord, Take order with thy house, for thou shalt die, and not live. And Ezekias turned his face toward the wall, and prayed to the Lord, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember how I have walked before thee in truth, and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekias wept with great weeping. And the word of the Lord came to Ai's, saying, Go and say to Ezekias, Thus saith the Lord the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, and I have seen thy tears, behold I will add to thy days fifteen years. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of the Assyrians, and I will protect it. And this shall be a sign to thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this word which he hath spoken, behold I will bring again the shadow of the lines by which it is now gone down in the sun dial of Achaz with the sun, ten lines backward. And the sun returned ten lines by the degrees by which it was gone down. The writing of Ezekiah's king of Judah, when he had been sick, and was recovered of his sickness. I said, In the midst of my days I shall go to the gates of hell, I sought for the residue of my years. Hell, Sheol, or Hades, the region of the dead. I said, I shall not see the Lord God in the land of the living. I shall behold man no more, nor the inhabitant of rest. My generation is at an end, and it is rolled away from me, as a shepherdess tent. My life is cut off, as by a weaver, whilst I was yet but beginning, he out me off, 
from morning even to night thou wilt make an end of me. I hope till morning, as a lion so hath he broken all my bones, from morning even to night thou wilt make an end of me. I will cry like a young swallow, I will meditate like a dove, my eyes are weak and looking upward, Lord, I suffer violence, answer thou for me. What shall I say, or what shall he answer for me, whereas he himself hath done it? I will recount to thee all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O Lord, if man's life be such, and the life of my spirit be in such things as these, thou shalt correct me, and make me to live. Beholding peace is my bitterness most bitter, but thou hast delivered my soul that it should not perish, thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. For hell shall not confess to thee, neither shall death praise thee, nor shall they that go down into the pit, look for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall give praise to thee, as I do this day, the Father shall make thy truth known to the children. O Lord, save me and we will sing our psalms all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. Now Iaias had ordered that they should take a lump of figs, and lay it as it plaster upon the wound, and that he should be healed. And as Zacchaeus' bed said, What shall be the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? Zacchaeus shows all his treasures to the ambassadors of Babylon, upon which Iaias foretells the Babylonish captivity. At that time Meredith Baladin, the son of Baladan king of Babylon, sent letters and presents to Ezekias, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Ezekias rejoiced at their coming, and he showed them the storehouses of his aromatical spices, and of the silver, and of the gold, and of the sweet odors, and of the precious ointment, and all the storehouses of his furniture, and all things that were found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion that Ezekias showed them not. Then Iaias the prophet came to King Ezekias, and said to him, What said these men, and from whence came they to thee? And Ezekias said, From a far country they came to me, from Babylon. And he said, What saw they in thy house? And Ezekias said, All things that are in my house have they seen, there was not anything which I have not shown them in my treasures. And Iaias said to Ezekias, Rear the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold the days shall come that all that is in thy house, and that thy fathers have laid up in store until this day, shall be carried away into Babylon, there shall not anything be left, saith the Lord. And of thy children, that shall issue from thee, whom thou shalt beget, they shall take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. And Ezekiah said to Ahaz, The word of the Lord, which he hath spoken, is good. And he said, Only let peace and truth be in my days. The prophet comforts the people with the promise of the coming of Christ to forgive their sins. God's almighty power and majesty. Be comforted, be comforted, my people, saith your God. Speak ye to the heart of Jerusalem, and call to her, for her evil is come to an end, her iniquity is forgiven, she hath received of the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the desert, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, Make straight in the wilderness the paths of our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall become straight, and the rough ways plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh together shall see, that the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. The voice of one, saying, Cry. And I said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the glory thereof as the flower of the held. The grass is withered and the dower is fallen, because the Spirit of the Lord hath blown upon it. Indeed the people is grass, the grass is withered, and the flower is fallen, but the word of our Lord endureth for ever. Get thee up upon a high mountain, thou that bringest good tidings to Sion, lift up thy voice with strength, thou that bringest good tidings to Jerusalem, lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God, behold the Lord God shall come with strength and his arm shall rule, behold his reward is with him and his work is before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, he shall gather together the lambs with his arm, and shall take them up in his bosom, and he himself shall carry them that are with young. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and weighed the heavens with his palm? Who hath poised with three fingers the bulk of the earth, and weighed the mountains and scales, and the hills in the balance? 
who hath forwarded the Spirit of the Lord? Or who hath been his counselor, and hath taught him? With whom hath he consulted, and who hath instructed him, and taught him the path of justice, and taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Behold the Gentiles are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the smallest grain of a balance, behold the islands are as a little dust. And Libanus shall not be enough to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations are before him as if they had no being at all, and are counted to him as nothing, and vanity. To whom then have you likened God? Or what image will you make for him? Hath the workman cast a graven statue? Or hath the goldsmith formed it with gold, or the silversmith with plates of silver? He hath chosen strong wood, and that will not rot, the skillful workman seeketh how he may set up an idol that may not be moved. Do you not know? Hath it not been heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the globe of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as locusts. He that stretcheth out the heavens as nothing, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. He that bringeth the searchers of secrets to nothing, that hath made the judges of the earth as vanity. And surely their stock was neither planted, nor sown, nor rooted in the earth. Suddenly he hath blown upon them, and they are withered, and a whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. And to whom have ye likened me, or made me equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who hath created these things, who bringeth out their host by number, and calleth them all by their names, by the greatness of his might, and strength, and power, not one of them was missing. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Knowest thou not, or hast thou not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, who hath created the ends of the earth. He shall not faint, nor labor, neither is there any searching out of his wisdom. It is he that giveth strength to the weary, and increaseth force and might to them that are not. Youths shall faint, and labor, and young men shall fall by infirmity. But they that hope in the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall take wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. The reign of the just one, the vanity of idols, let the islands keep silence before me, and the nations take new strength, let them come near, and then speak, let us come near to judgment together. Who hath raised up the just one from the east, hath called him to follow him. He shall give the nations in his sight, and he shall rule over kings, he shall give them as the dust to his sword, as stubble driven by the wind, to his bow. He shall pursue them, he shall pass in peace, no path shall appear after his feet who hath wrought and done these things, calling the generations from the beginning. I the Lord, I am the first and the last. The islands saw it, and feared, the ends of the earth were astonished, they drew near, and came. Every one shall help his neighbor, and shall say to his brother, Be of good courage. The coppersmith striking with the hammer encouraged him that forged at that time, saying, It is ready for soldering, and he strengthened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou Israel, art my servant, Jacob whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham my friend, in whom I have taken thee from the ends of the earth, and from the remote parts thereof have called thee, and said to thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and have not cast thee away. Fear not, for I am with thee, turn not aside, for I am thy God, I have strengthened thee, and have helped thee, and the right hand of my just one hath upheld thee. Behold all that fight against thee shall be confounded and ashamed, they shall be as nothing, and the men shall perish that strive against thee. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find the men that resist thee, they shall be as nothing, and as a thing consumed the men that war against thee, for I am the Lord thy God, who take thee by the hand, and say to thee, Fear not, I have helped thee. Fear not, thou worm of Jacob, you that are dead of Israel, I have helped thee saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel. I have made thee as a new thrashing wain, with teeth like a saw, thou shalt thrash the mountains, and break them in pieces, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, 
In the Holy One of Israel thou shalt be joyful. The needy and the poor seek for waters, and there are none, their tongue hath been dry with thirst. I the Lord will hear them, I the God of Israel will not forsake them. I will open rivers in the high bills, and fountains in the midst of the plains, I will turn the desert into pools of waters, and the impassable land into streams of waters. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, and the thorn, and the myrtle, and the olive tree, I will set in the desert the fir tree, the elm, and the box tree together, that they may see and know, and consider, and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. The thorn, in Hebrew, the Shittah, or Sedem, a tree resembling the white thorn. Bring your cause near, saith the Lord, bring hither, if you have anything to allege, saith the King of Jacob. Let them come, and tell us all things that are to come, tell us the former things what they were, and we will set our heart upon them, and shall know the latter end of them, and tell us the things that are to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, and we shall know that ye are gods. Do ye also good or evil, if you can, and let us speak, and see together. Behold, you are of nothing, and your work of that which hath no being, he that hath chosen you is an abomination. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come from the rising of the sun, he shall call upon my name, and he shall make princes to be as dirt, and as the potter treading clay. Who hath declared from the beginning, that we may know, and from time of old, that we may say, Thou art just. There is none that sheath, nor that foretelleth, nor that heareth your words. The first shall say to Sion, Behold they are here, and to Jerusalem I will give an evangelist. And I saw, and there was no one even among them to consult, or who, when I asked, could answer a word. Behold they are all in the wrong, and their works are vain, their idols are wind and vanity. The Office of Christ the preaching of the gospel to the Gentiles. The blindness and reprobation of the Jews. Behold my servant, I will uphold him, my elect, my soul delighteth in him, I have given my spirit upon him, he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor have respect to person, neither shall his voice be heard abroad. The bruised reed he shall not break, and smoking flax he shall not quench, he shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not be sad, nor troublesome, till he set judgment in the earth, and the islands shall wait for his law. Thus saith the Lord God that created the heavens, and stretched them out, that established the earth, and the things that spring out of it, that giveth breath to the people upon it, and spirit to them that tread thereon. My servant, Christ, who according to his humanity, is the servant of God. I the Lord have called thee in justice, and taken thee by the hand and preserved thee. And I have given thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, that thou mightest open the eyes of the blind, and bring forth the prisoner out of prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I the Lord, this is my name, I will not give my glory to another, nor my praise to graven things. The things that were first, behold they are come, and new things do I declare, before they spring forth, I will make you head them. Sing ye to the Lord a new song, his praises from the ends of the earth, you that go down to the sea, and all that are therein, ye islands, and ye inhabitants of them. Let the desert and the cities thereof be exalted, cedar shall dwell in houses, ye inhabitants of Petra, give praise, they shall cry from the top of the mountains. They shall give glory to the Lord, and shall declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. As a man of war shall he stir up zeal, he shall shout and cry, he shall prevail against his enemies. I have always held my peace, I have I kept silence, I have been patient, I will speak now as a woman in labor, I will destroy, and swallow up at once. I will lay waste the mountains and hills, and will make all their grass to wither, and I will turn rivers into islands, and will dry up the standing pools. Petra, a city that gives name to Arabia Petria. And I will lead the blind into the way which they know not, and in the paths which they were ignorant of I will make them walk, I will make darkness light before them, and crooked things straight, these things have I done to them, and have not forsaken them. They are turned back, let them be greatly confounded, that trust in a graven thing, that say to a molten thing, 
you are our God. Hear, ye deaf, and, ye blind, behold that you may see. Who is blind, but my servant? Or deaf, but he to whom I have sent my messengers? Who is blind, but he that is sold? Or who is blind, but the servant of the Lord? Thou that sest many things, wilt thou not observe them? Thou that hast ears open, wilt thou not hear? And the Lord was willing to sanctify him, and to magnify the law, and exalt it. But this is a people that is robbed and wasted, they are all the snare of young men, and they are hid in the houses of prisons, they are made a prey, and there is none to deliver them, a spoil, and there is none that saith, Restore. Who is there among you that will give ear to this, that will attend and hearken for times to come? Who hath given Jacob for a spoil, and Israel to robbers? Hath not the Lord himself, against whom we have sinned? And they would not walk in his ways, and they have not hearkened to his law. And he hath poured out upon him the indignation of his fury, and a strong battle, and hath burned him round about, and he knew not, and set him on fire, and he understood not. God comforts his church, promising to protect her forever, he expostulates with the Jews for their ingratitude. And now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, and called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou shalt pass through the waters, I will be with thee, and the rivers shall not cover thee, when thou shalt walk in the fire, thou shalt not be burned, and the flames shall not burn in thee, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Saviour, I have given Egypt for thy atonement, Ethiopia and Saba for thee. Since thou becamest honourable in my eyes, thou art glorious, I have loved thee, and I will give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee, I will. Bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back, bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. And every one that calleth upon my name, I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, and made him. Bring forth the people that are blind, and have eyes, that are deaf, and have ears. All the nations are assembled together, and the tribes are gathered, who among you can declare this, and shall make us hear the former things. Let them bring forth their witnesses, let them be justified, and hear, and say, It is truth. You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know, and believe me and understand that I myself am. Before me there was no God formed, and after me there shall be none. I am, I am the Lord, and there is no Saviour besides me. I have declared, and have saved. I have made it heard, and there was no strange one among you. You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and I am God. And from the beginning I am the same, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand, I will work, and who shall turn it away. Thus saith the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, For your sake I sent to Babylon, and have brought down all their bars, and the Chaldeans glorying in their ships. I am the Lord your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, who made a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty waters. Who brought forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the strong, they lay down to sleep together, and they shall not rise again. They are broken as flax, and are extinct. Remember not former things, and look not on things of old. Behold I do new things, and now they shall spring forth, verily you shall know them, I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall glorify me, the dragons and the ostriches, because I have given waters in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, to my chosen. This people have I formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, neither hast thou labored about me, O Israel. Thou hast not offered me the ram of thy holocaust, nor hast thou glorified me with thy victims, I have not caused thee to serve with oblations, nor wearied thee with incense. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy victims. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, thou hast wearied me with thy iniquities. I am, I am he that blot out thy iniquities for my own sake, 
and I will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance, and let us plead together, tell if thou hast anything to justify thyself. Thy first father sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. And I have profaned the holy princes, I have given Jacob to slaughter, and Israel to reproach. God's favor to his church, the folly of idolatry. The people shall be delivered from captivity. And now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made and formed thee, thy helper from the womb, Fear not, O my servant Jacob, and thou most righteous whom I have chosen. For I will pour out waters upon the thirsty ground, and streams upon the dry land, I will pour out my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thy stock. And they shall spring up among the herbs, as willows beside the running waters. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand, to the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord the King of Israel, and his Redeemer the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and besides me there is no God. Who is like to me? Let him call and declare, and let him set before me the order, since I appointed the ancient people, and the things to come, and that shall be hereafter, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be ye troubled, from the time I have made thee to hear, and have declared, you are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me, a Maker, whom I have not known? The makers of idols are all of them nothing, and their best beloved things shall not profit them. They are their witnesses, that they do not see, nor understand, that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a God, and made a graven thing that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all the partakers thereof shall be confounded, for the makers are men, they shall all assemble together, they shall stand and fear and shall be confounded together. The smith hath wrought with his file, with coals, and with hammers he hath formed it, and hath wrought with the strength of his arm, he shall hunger and faint, he shall drink no water, and shall be weary. The carpenter hath stretched out his rule, he hath formed it with a plane, he hath made it with corners, and hath fashioned it round with the compass, and he hath made the image of a man as it were a beautiful man dwelling in a house. He hath cut down cedars, taken the home, and the oak that stood among the trees of the forest, he hath planted the pine tree, which the rain hath nourished. And it hath served men for fuel, he took thereof, and warmed himself, and he kindled it, and baked bread, but of the rest he made a god, and adored it, he made a graven thing, and bowed down before it. Part of it he burnt with fire, and with part of it he dressed his meat, he boiled pottage, and was filled, and was warmed, and said, Aha! I am warm, I have seen the fire. But the residue thereof he made a god, and a graven thing for himself, he boweth down before it, and adoreth it, and groweth unto it, saying, Deliver me, for thou art my god. They have not known, nor understood, for their eyes are covered that they may not see, and that they may not understand with their heart. They do not consider in their mind, nor know, nor have the thought to say, I have burnt part of it in the fire and I have baked bread upon the coals thereof, I have broiled flesh and have eaten, and of the residue thereof shall I make an idol? Shall I fall down before the stock of a tree? Part thereof is ashes, his foolish heart adoreth it, and he will not save his soul, nor say, Perhaps there is a lie in my right hand. Remember these things, O Jacob, and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee, thou art my servant, O Israel forget me not. I have blotted out thy iniquities as a cloud, and thy sins as a mist, return to me, for I have redeemed thee. Give praise, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath shown mercy, shout with joy, ye ends of the earth, ye mountains, resound with praise, thou, O forest, and every tree therein, for the Lord hath redeemed Jacob, and Israel shall be glorified. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and thy Maker, from the womb, I am the Lord, that make all things, that alone stretch out the heavens, that establish the earth, and there is none with me. That make void the tokens of diviners, and make the soothsayers mad. That turn the wise backward, and that, make their knowledge foolish. That raise up the word of my servant and perform the counsel of my messengers, 
who say to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, you shall be built, and I will raise up the wastes thereof. Who say to the deep, Be thou desolate, and I will dry up thy rivers. Who say to Cyrus, Thou art my shepherd, and thou shalt perform all my pleasure. Who say to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be built, and to the temple, thy foundations shall be laid. A prophecy of Cyrus, as a figure of Christ, the great deliverer of God's people. Thus saith the Lord to my anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I have taken hold of, to subdue nations before his face, and to turn the backs of kings, and to open the doors before him, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee, and will humble the great ones of the earth, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and will burst the bars of iron. And I will give thee hidden treasures, and the concealed riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I am the Lord who call thee by thy name, the God of Israel. For the sake of my servant Jacob, and Israel my elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have made a likeness of thee, and thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else, there is no God, besides me. I girded thee, and thou hast not known me. That they may know who are from the rising of the sun, and they who are from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is none else, I form the light, and create darkness, I make peace, and create evil, I the Lord that do all these things. Drop down dew, ye heavens, from above, and let the clouds rain the just, let the earth be opened, and bud forth a Saviour, and let justice spring up together, I the Lord have created him. Woe to him that gainseth his Maker, assured of the earth in pots. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What art thou making, and thy work is without hands? Woe to him that saith to his father, Why begettest thou? And to the woman, Why dost thou bring forth? Create evil, the evils of afflictions and punishments, but not the evil of sin. Thus saith the Lord the Holy One of Israel, his Maker, Ask me of things to come, concerning my children, and concerning the work of my hands give ye charge to me. I made the earth, and I created man upon it, my hand stretched forth the heavens, and I have commanded all their host. I have raised him up to justice, and I will direct all his ways, he shall build my city, and let go my captives, not for ransom, nor for presents, saith the Lord the God of hosts. Thus saith the Lord, the labor of Egypt, and the merchandise of Ethiopia, and of Sabaim, men of stature shall come over to thee, and shall be thins they shall walk after thee, they shall go bound with manacles, and they shall worship thee, and shall make supplication to thee, only in thee is God, and there is no God besides thee. Verily thou art a hidden God, the God of Israel the Saviour. They are all confounded and ashamed, the forgers of errors are gone together into confusion. Israel is saved in the Lord with his eternal salvation, you shall not be confounded, and you shall not be ashamed for ever and ever. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth, and made it, the very maker thereof, he did not create it in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret, in a dark place of the earth, I have not said to the seed of Jacob, Seek me in vain. I am the Lord that speak justice, that declare right things. Assemble yourselves, and come, and draw near together ye that are saved of the Gentiles, they have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven work, and pray to a God that cannot save. Tell ye, and come, and consult together, who hath declared this from the beginning, who hath foretold this from that time. Have not I the Lord, and there is no God else besides me? A just God and a Saviour, there is none besides me. Be converted to me, and you shall be saved, all ye ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I have sworn by myself, the word of justice shall go out of my mouth, and shall not return, for every knee shall be bowed to me, and every tongue shall swear. Therefore shall he say, In the Lord are my justices and empire, they shall come to him, and all that resist him shall be confounded. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and praised. The idols of Babylon shall be destroyed. Salvation is promised through Christ. Bell is broken, Nebo is destroyed, their idols are put upon beasts and cattle, 
your burdens of heavy weight even unto weariness. They are consumed, and are broken together, they could not save him that carried them, and they themselves shall go into captivity. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, who are carried by my bowels, are borne up by my womb. Even to your old age I am the same, and to your gray hairs I will carry you, I have made you, and I will bear, I will carry and will save. To whom have you likened me, and made me equal, and compared me, and made me like? You that contribute gold out of the bag, and weigh out silver in the scales, and hire a goldsmith to make a god, and they fall down and worship. They bear him on their shoulders and carry him, and set him in his peace, and he shall stand, and shall not stir out of his place. Yea, when they shall cry also unto him, he shall not hear, he shall not save them from tribulation. Remember this, and be ashamed, return, ye transgressors, to the heart. Remember the former age, for I am God, and there is no God beside, neither is there the light to me, who show from the beginning the things that shall be at last, and from ancient times the things that as yet are not done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and all my will shall be done. Who call a bird from the east, and from a far country the man of my own will, and I have spoken, and will bring it to pass, I have created, and I will do it. Hear me, O ye hard-hearted, who are far from justice. I have brought my justice near, it shall not be afar off, and my salvation shall not tarry. I will give salvation in Sion, and my glory in Israel. God's Judgment Upon Babylon Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, there is no throne for the daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called delicate and tender. Take millstone and grind meal, uncover thy shame, strip thy shoulder, make bare thy legs, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be discovered, and thy shame shall be seen, I will take vengeance, and no man shall resist me. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people, I have polluted my inheritance, and have given them into thy bend, thou hast shown no mercy to them, upon the ancient thou hast laid thy yoke exceeding heavy. And thou hast said, I shall be a lady forever, thou hast not laid these things to thy heart, neither hast thou remembered thy latter end. And now hear these things, thou that art delicate, and dwellest confidently, that sayest in thy heart, I am, and there is none else besides me, I shall not sit as a widow, and I shall not know barrenness. These two things shall come upon thee suddenly in one day, barrenness and widowhood. All things are come upon thee, because of the multitude of thy sorceries, and for the great hardness of thy enchanters. And thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, and hast said, There is none that seeth me. Thy wisdom, and thy knowledge, this hath deceived thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and besides me there is no other. Evil shall come upon thee, and then shalt not know the rising thereof, and calamity shall fall violently upon thee, which thou canst not keep off, misery shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thy enchanters, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, in which thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be it may profit thee anything or if thou mayst become stronger. Thou hast failed in the multitude or thy counsels, let now the astrologers stand and save thee, they that gazed at the stars, and counted the months, that from them they might tell the things that shall come to thee. Behold they are as stubble, fire hath burned them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flames, there are no coals wherewith they may be warmed, nor fire, that they may sit thereat. Such are all the things become to thee in which thou hast labored, thy merchants from thy youth, every one hath urged in his own way, there is none that can save thee. He reproaches the Jews for their obstinacy, he will deliver them out of their captivity, for his own name's sake. Hear ye these things, O house of Jacob, you that are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, you who swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in justice. For they are called of the holy city, and are established upon the God of Israel, 
The Lord of hosts is his name. The former things of old I have declared, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I have made them to be heard, I did them suddenly and they came to pass. For I knew that thou art stubborn, and thy neck is as an iron sinew, and thy forehead as brass. I foretold thee of old, before they came to pass I told thee, lest thou shouldst say, My idols have done these things, and my graven and molten things have commanded them. See now all the things which thou hast heard, but have you declared them? I have shown thee new things from that time, and things are kept which thou knowest not, they are created now, and not of old, and before the day, when thou heardest them not, lest thou shouldst say, Behold I knew them. Thou hast neither heard, nor known, neither was thy ear opened of old. For I know that transgressing thou wilt transgress, and I have called thee a transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake I will remove my wrath far off, and for my praise I will bridle thee, lest thou shouldst perish. Behold I have refined thee, but not as silver, I have chosen thee in the furnace of poverty. For my own sake, for my own sake will I do it, that I may not be blasphemed, and I will not give my glory to another. Hearken to me, O Jacob, and thou Israel whom I call, I am he, I am the first, and I am the last. My hand also hath founded the earth, and my right hand hath measured the heavens, I shall call them, and they shall stand together. Assemble yourselves together, all you, and hear, who among them hath declared these things. The Lord hath loved him, he will do his pleasure in Babylon, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. I, even I have spoken and called him, I have brought him, and his way is made prosperous. Come ye near unto me and hear this, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time before it was done, I was there, and now the Lord God hath sent me, and his Spirit. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God that teach thee profitable things, that govern thee in the way that thou walkest. O oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments, thy peace had been as a river, and thy justice as the waves of the sea, and thy seed had been as the sand and the offspring of thy bowels like the gravel thereof, his name should not have perished, nor have been destroyed from before my face. Come forth out of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans, declare it with the voice of joy, make this to be heard, and speak it out even to the ends of the earth. Say, The Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. They thirsted not in the desert, when he led them out, he brought forth water out of the rock for them, and he clove the rock and the waters gushed out. There is no peace to the wicked, saith the Lord. Christ shall bring the Gentiles to salvation. God's love to his church is perpetual. Give ear, ye islands, and hearken, ye people from afar. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother he hath been mindful of my name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand he hath protected me, and hath made me as a chosen arrow in his quiver he hath hidden me. And he said to me, Thou art to my servant Israel, for in thee will I glory. And I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength without cause and in vain, therefore my judgment is with the Lord, and my work with my God. And now saith the Lord, that formed me from the womb to be his servant, that I may bring back Jacob unto him, and Israel will not be gathered together, and I am glorified in the eyes of the Lord and my God has made my strength. And he said, It is a small thing that thou shouldst be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to convert the dregs of Israel. Behold, I have given thee to be the light of the Gentiles, that thou mayst be my salvation even to the farthest part of the earth. Thus saith the Lord the Redeemer of Israel, his Holy One, to the soul that is despised, to the nation that is abhorred, to the servant of rulers, kings shall see, and princes shall rise up and adore for the Lord's sake, because he is faithful, and for the Holy One of Israel, who hath chosen thee. Thus saith the Lord, In an acceptable time I have heard thee, and in the day of salvation I have helped thee, and I have preserved thee, and given thee to be a covenant of a people, that thou mightest raise up the earth, and possess the inheritances that were destroyed, that thou mightest say to them that are bound, Come forth, and to them that are in darkness, Show yourselves. They shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in every plain. They shall not hunger, nor thirst, 
neither shall the heat nor the sun strike them, for he that is merciful to them, shall be their shepherd, and at the fountains of waters he shall give them drink. And I will make all my mountains away, and my paths shall be exalted. Behold these shall come from afar, and behold these from the north and from the sea, and these from the south country. Give praise, O ye heavens, and rejoice, O earth, ye mountains, give praise with jubilation, because the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy on his poor ones. And Sion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and the Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her infant, so as not to have pity on the son of her womb? And if she should forget, yet will not I forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee in my hands, thy walls are always before my eyes. Thy builders are come, they that destroy thee and make thee waste shall go out of thee. Lift up thy eyes round about, and see all these are gathered together, they are come to thee, I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt be clothed with all these as with an ornament, and as a bride thou shalt put them about thee. For thy deserts, and thy desolate places, and the land of thy destruction shall now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants, and they that swallowed thee up shall be chased far away. The children of thy barrenness shall still say in thy ears, The place is too straight for me, make me room to dwell in. And thou shalt say in thy heart, Who hath begotten these? I was barren and brought not forth, led away, and captive, and who hath brought up these? I was destitute and alone, and these, where were they? Thus saith the Lord God, Behold I will lift up my hands to the Gentiles, and will set up my standard to the people. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and carry thy daughters upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and queens thy nurses, they shall worship thee with their face toward the earth, and they shall lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be confounded that wait for him. Shall the prey be taken from the strong? Or can that which was taken by the mighty be delivered? For thus saith the Lord, Yea verily, even the captivity shall be taken away from the strong, and that which was taken by the mighty, shall be delivered. But I will judge those that have judged thee, and thy children I will save. And I will feed thy enemies with their own flesh, and they shall be made drunk with their own blood, as with new wine, and all flesh shall know that I am the Lord that saved thee, and thy Redeemer the Mighty One of Jacob. The synagogue shall be divorced for her iniquities. Christ for her sake will endure ignominious afflictions. Thus saith the Lord, What is this bill of the divorce of your mother, with which I have put her away? Or who is my creditor, to whom I sold you? Behold you are sold for your iniquities, and for your wicked deeds have I put your mother away. Because I came, and there was not a man, I called and there was none that would hear. Is my hand shortened and become little, that I cannot redeem? Or is there no strength in me to deliver? Behold at my rebuke I will make the sea a desert, I will turn the rivers into dry land, the fishes shall rot for want of water, and shall die for thirst. I will clothe the heavens with darkness, and will make sackcloth their covering. The Lord hath given me a learned tongue, that I should know how to uphold by word him that is weary, he wakeneth in the morning. In the morning he wakeneth my ear, that I may hear him as a master. The Lord God hath opened my ear, and I do not resist, I have not gone back. I have given my body to the strikers, and my cheeks to them that plucked them, I have not turned away my face from them that rebuked me, and spit upon me. The Lord God is my helper, therefore am I not confounded, therefore have I set my face as a most hard rock, and I know that I shall not be confounded. He is near that justifieth me, who will contend with me. Let us stand together, who is my adversary. Let him come near to me. Behold the Lord God is my helper, who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they shall all be destroyed as a garment, the moth shall eat them up. Who is there among you that feareth the Lord, that heareth the voice of his servant, that hath walked in darkness, and hath no light? Let him hope in the name of the Lord, and lean upon his God. Behold all you that kindle a fire, encompassed with flames, walk in the light of your fire, and in the flames which you have kindled, this is done to you by my hand, you shall sleep in sorrows. An exhortation to trust in Christ. He shall protect the children of his church. Give ear to me, you that follow that which is just, 
and you that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence you are hewn, and to the hole of the pit from which you are dug out. Look unto Abraham your father, and to Sarah that bore you, for I called him alone, and blessed him, and multiplied him. The Lord therefore will comfort Sion, and will comfort all the ruins thereof, and he will make her desert as a place of pleasure, and her wilderness as the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving, and the voice of praise. Hearken unto me, O my people, and give ear to me, O my tribes, for a law shall go forth from me, and my judgment shall rest to be a light of the nations. My just one is near at hand, my Saviour is gone forth, and my arms shall judge the people, the islands shall look for me, and shall patiently wait for my arm. Lift up your eyes to heaven and look down to the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish like smoke, and the earth shall be worn away like a garment, and the inhabitants thereof shall perish in like manner, but my salvation shall be for ever, and my justice shall not fail. Hearken to me, you that know what is just, my people who have my law in your heart, fear ye not the reproach of men, and be not afraid of their blasphemies. For the worm shall eat them up as a garment, and the moth shall consume them as wool but my salvation shall be for ever, and my justice from generation to generation, arise, arise, put on strength, O thou arm of the Lord, arise as in the days of old, in the ancient generations. Hast not thou struck the proud one, and wounded the dragon? Hast not thou dried up the sea, the water of the mighty deep, who maddest the depth of the sea away, that the delivered might pass over? And now they that are redeemed by the Lord, shall return and shall come into Sion singing praises, and joy everlasting shall be upon their heads, they shall obtain joy and gladness, sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, I myself will comfort you, who art thou, that thou shouldst be afraid of a mortal man, and of the son of man, who shall wither away like grass. And thou hast forgotten the Lord thy Maker, who stretched out the heavens, and founded the earth and thee hast been afraid continually all the day at the presence of his fury who afflicted thee, and had prepared himself to destroy thee, where is now the fury of the oppressor? He shall quickly come that is going to open unto you, and he shall not kill unto utter destruction, neither shall his bread fail. But I am the Lord thy God, who trouble the sea, and the waves thereof swell, the Lord of hosts is my name. I have put my words in thy mouth, and have protected thee in the shadow of my hand, that thou mightest plant the heavens, and found the earth, and mightest say to Sion, Thou art to my people. Arise, arise, stand up, O Jerusalem, which hast drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, thou hast drunk even to the bottom of the cup of dead sleep, and thou hast drunk even to the dregs. There is none that can uphold her among all the children that she hath brought forth and there is none that taketh her by the hand among all the children that she hath brought up. There are two things that have happened to thee, who shall be sorry for thee. Desolation, and destruction, and the famine, and the sword, who shall comfort thee. Thy children are cast forth, they have slept at the head of all the ways, as the wild ox that is snared, full of the indignation of the Lord, of the rebuke of thy God. Therefore hear this, thou poor little one, and thou that art drunk but know with wine. Thus saith thy sovereign the Lord and thy God, who will fight for his people, Behold I have taken out of thy hand the cup of dead sleep, the dregs of the cup of my indignation, thou shalt not drink it again any more. And I will put it in the hand of them that have oppressed thee, and have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as a way to them that went over under the figure of the deliverance from the Babylonish captivity, the church is invited to rejoice for her redemption from sin. Christ's kingdom shall be exalted. Arise, arise, put on thy strength, O Sion, put on the garments of thy glory, O Jerusalem, the city of the Holy One, for henceforth the uncircumcised, and unclean shall no more pass through thee. Shake thyself from the dust, arise, sit up, O Jerusalem. Loose the bonds from off thy neck, O captive daughter of Sion. For thus saith the Lord, You were sold gratis, and you shall be redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, My people went down into Egypt at the beginning to sojourn there, and the Assyrian hath oppressed them without any cause at all. 
And now what have I here, saith the Lord, for my people is taken away gratis. They that rule over them treat them unjustly, saith the Lord, and my name is continually blasphemed all the day long. Therefore my people shall know my name in that day, for I myself that spoke, behold I am here. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, and that preacheth peace, of him that should forth good, that preacheth salvation, that saith to Sion, Thy God shall reign. The voice of thy watchmen, they have lifted up their voice, they shall praise together, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall convert Sion. Rejoice, and give praise together, O ye deserts of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath prepared his holy arm in the sight of all the Gentiles, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go out of the midst of her, be ye clean, you that carry the vessels of the Lord. For you shall not go out in a tumult, neither shall you make haste by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will gather you together. Behold my servant shall understand, he shall be exalted, and extolled, and shall be exceeding high. As many have been astonished at thee, so shall his visage be in glorious among men, and his form among the sons of men. He shall sprinkle many nations, kings shall shut their mouth at him, for they to whom it was not told of him, have seen, and they that heard not, have beheld. A prophecy of the Passion of Christ, who hath believed our report. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? And he shall grow up as a tender plant before him, and as a root out of a thirsty ground, there is no beauty in him, nor comeliness, and we have seen him, and there was no sightliness, that we should be desirous of him, despised, and the most abject of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with infirmity, and his look was as it were hidden and despised, whereupon we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our infirmities and carried our sorrows, and we have thought him as it were a leper, and as one struck by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our iniquities, he was bruised for our sins, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, every one hath turned aside into his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was offered because it was his own will and he opened not his mouth, he shall be led as a sheep to the slaughter, and shall be dumb as a lamb before his shearer, and he shall not open his mouth. He was taken away from distress, and from judgment, who shall declare his generation. Because he is cut off out of the land of the living, for the wickedness of my people have I struck him. And he shall give the ungodly for his burial, and the rich for his death, because he hath done no iniquity, neither was there deceit in his mouth. And the Lord was pleased to bruise him in infirmity, if he shall lay down his life for sin, he shall see a long-lived seed, and the will of the Lord shall be prosperous in his hand. Because his soul hath labored, he shall see and be filled, by his knowledge shall this my just servant justify many, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I distribute to him very many, and he shall divide the spoils of the strong, because he hath delivered his soul unto death and was reputed with the wicked, and he hath borne the sins of many, and hath prayed for the transgressors. The Gentiles, who were barren before, shall multiply in the church of Christ, from which God's mercy shall never depart. Give praise, O thou barren, that bearest not, sing forth praise, and make a joyful noise, thou that didst not travail with child, for many are the children of the desolate, more than of her that hath a husband, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and stretch out the skins of thy tabernacles, spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt pass on to the right hand, and to the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and shall inhabit the desolate cities. Fear not, for thou shalt not be confounded, nor blush, for thou shalt not be put to shame, because thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt remember no more the reproach of thy widowhood. For he that made thee shall rule over thee, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, shall be called the God of all the earth. For the Lord hath called thee as woman forsaken in mourning in spirit, and as a wife cast off from her youth, said thy God. For a, 
small moments have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a moment of indignation have I hid my face a little while from thee, but with everlasting kindness have I had mercy on thee, said the Lord thy Redeemer. This thing is to me as in the days of Noah, to whom I swore, that I would no more bring in the waters of Noah upon the earth, so have I sworn not to be angry with thee, and not to rebuke thee. For the mountains shall be moved, and the hills shall tremble, but my mercy shall not depart from thee, and the covenant of my peace shall not be moved, said the Lord that hath mercy on thee. O poor little one, tossed with tempest, without all comfort, behold I will lay thy stones in order, and will lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy bulwarks of jasper, and thy gates of graven stones, and all thy borders of desirable stones. All thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. And thou shalt be founded in justice, depart far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, an inhabitant shall come, who is not with me, he that was a stranger to thee before, shall be joined to thee. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and bringeth forth an instrument for his work and I have created the killer to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that resisteth thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord, and their justice with me, saith the Lord. God promises abundance of spiritual graces to the faithful, that shall believe in Christ out of all nations, and sincerely serve him. All you that thirst, come to the waters, and you that have no money make haste, buy and eat, come ye, buy wine and milk without money, and without any price. Why do you spend money for that which is not breed, and your labor for that which doth not satisfy you? Hearken diligently to me, and eat that which is good, and your soul shall be delighted in fatness. Incline your ear and come to me, here and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the faithful mercies of David. Behold I have given him for a witness to the people for a leader and a master to the Gentiles. Behold thou shalt call a nation, which thou nest not, and the nations that knew not thee shall run to thee, because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found, call upon him, while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unjust man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God for he is bountiful to forgive. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are exalted above the earth, so are my ways exalted above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. And as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and return no more thither, but soak the earth, and water it, and make it to spring, and give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be which shall go forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall do whatsoever I please, and shall prosper in the things for which I sent it. For you shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace, the mountains and the hills shall sing praise before you, and all the trees of the country shall clap their hands. Instead of the shrub, shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the nettle, shall come up the myrtle tree, and the Lord shall be named for an everlasting sign that shall not be taken away. God invites all to keep his commandments, the Gentiles that keep them shall be the people of God, the Jewish pastors are reproved. Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment, and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my justice to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doth this, and the son of man that shall lay hold on this, that keepeth the Sabbath from profaning it, that keepeth his hands from doing any evil. And let not the son of the stranger, that adhereth to the Lord, speak, saying, The Lord will divide and separate me from his people. And let not the eunuch say, Behold I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord to the eunuchs, They that shall keep my Sabbaths, and shall choose the things that please me, and shall hold fast my covenant, I will give to them in my house, and within my walls, a place and a name better than sons and daughters, I will give them an everlasting name which shall never perish. And the children of the stranger that adhere to the Lord, to worship him, and to love his name, to be his servants, 
every one that keepeth the Sabbath from profaning it, and that holdeth fast my covenant, I will bring them into my holy mount, and will make them joyful in my house of prayer, their holocausts, and their victims shall please me upon my altar, for my house shall be called the house of prayer, for all nations. The Lord God, who gathereth the scattered of Israel, saith, I will still gather unto him his congregation. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, all ye beasts of the forest. His watchmen are all blind, they are all ignorant, dumb dogs not able to bark, seeing vain things, sleeping and loving dreams. And meet impudent dogs, they never had enough, the shepherds themselves knew no understanding, all have turned aside into their own way, every one after his own gain, from the first even to the last. Come, let us take wine, and be filled with drunkenness, and it shall be as today, so also tomorrow, and much more. The infidelity of the Jews, their idolatry. Promises to humble penitents. The just perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart, and men of mercy are taken away, because there is none that understandeth, for the just man is taken away from before the face of evil. Let peace come, let him rest in his bed that hath walked in his uprightness. But draw near hither, you sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer, and of the harlot. Upon whom have you jested? Upon whom have you opened your mouth wide, and put out your tongue? Are not you I good children, a false seed, who seek your comfort in idols under every green tree, sacrificing children in the torrents, under the high rocks? In the parts of the torrent is thy portion, this is thy lot, and thou hast poured out libations to them. Thou hast offered sacrifice. Shall I not be angry at these things? Upon a high and lofty mountain thou hast laid thy bed, and hast gone up thither to offer victims. And behind the door, and behind the post thou hast set up thy remembrance, for thou hast discovered thyself near me, and hast received an adulterer, thou hast enlarged thy bed, and made a covenant with them, thou hast loved their bed with open hand. And thou hast adorned thyself for the king with ointment, and hast multiplied thy perfumes. Thou hast sent thy messengers far off, and wast debased even to hell. Thou hast been wearied in the multitude of thy ways, yet thou saidst not, I will rest. Thou hast found life of thy hand, therefore thou hast not asked. For whom hast thou been solicitous and afraid, that thou hast lied, and hast not been mindful of me, nor thought on me in thy heart? For I am silent, and as one that seeth not, and thou hast forgotten me. I will declare thy justice, and thy works shall not profit thee. When thou shalt cry, let thy companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them all off, a breeze shall take them away, but he that putteth his trust in me, shall inherit the land, and shall possess my holy mount. And I will say, Make a way, give free passage, turn out of the path. Take away the stumbling blocks out of the way of my people. For thus saith the High and the Eminent that inhabiteth eternity, and his name is Holy, who dwelleth in the high and holy place, and with a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite. For I will not contend for ever, neither will I be angry unto the end, because the spirit shall go forth from my face, and breathings I will make. For the iniquity of his covetousness I was angry, and I struck him, I hid my face from thee, and was angry, and he went away wandering in his own heart. I saw his ways, and I healed him, and brought him back, and restored comforts to him, and to them that mourn for him. I created the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, said the Lord, and I healed him. But the wicked are like the raging sea, which cannot rest and the waves thereof cast up dirt and mire. There is no peace to the wicked, saith the Lord God. God rejects the hypocritical fasts of the Jews, recommends works of mercy, and sincere godliness. Cry, cease not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their wicked doings, and the house of Jacob their sins. For they seek me from day to day, sad desire to know my ways, as a nation that hath done justice and hath not forsaken the judgment of their God, they ask of me the judgments of justice, they are willing to approach to God. Why have we fasted, and thou hast not regarded, have we humbled our souls, and thou hast not taken notice?
Behold in the day of your fast your own will is found, and you exact of all your debtors. Behold you fast for debates and strife. And strike with a fist wickedly. Do not fast as you have done until this day, to make your cry to be heard on high. Is this such a fast as I have chosen, for a man to afflict his soul for a day? Is this it, to wind his head about like a circle, and to spread sackcloth and ashes? Wilt thou call this a fast, and a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this rather the fast that I have chosen? Loose the bands of wickedness, undo the bundles that oppress, let them that are broken go free, and break asunder every burden. Deal thy bread to the hungry, and bring the needy and the harborless into thy house, when thou shalt see one naked, cover him, and despise not thy own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall speedily arise, and thy justice shall go before thy face, and the glory of the Lord shall gather thee up. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall hear, thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou wilt take away the chain out of the midst of thee, and cease to stretch out the finger, and to speak that which profiteth not. When thou shalt pour out thy soul to the hungry, and shalt satisfy the afflicted soul then shall thy light rise up in darkness, and thy darkness shall be as the noonday. And the Lord will give thee rest continually, and will fill thy soul with brightness, and deliver thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a fountain of water whose waters shall not fail. And the places that have been desolate for ages shall be built in thee, thou shalt raise up the foundations of generation and generation, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the fences, turning the paths into rest. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy own will in my holy day, and call the Sabbath delightful, and the holy of the Lord glorious, and glorify him while thou dost not thy own ways, and thy own will is not found, to speak a word, then shalt thou be delighted in the Lord, and I will lift thee up above the high places of the earth, and will feed thee with the inheritance of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The dreadful evil of sin is displayed, as the great obstacle to all good from God, yet he will send a Redeemer, and make an everlasting covenant with his church. Behold the hand of the Lord is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have divided between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he should not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, and your tongue uttereth iniquity. There is none that calleth upon justice, neither is there any one that judgeth truly, but they trust in a mere nothing and speak vanities, they have conceived labor, and brought forth iniquity. They have broken the eggs of asps, and have woven the webs of spiders, he that shall eat of their eggs, shall die, and that which is brought out, shall be hatched into a basilisk. Their webs shall not be for clothing, neither shall they cover themselves with their works, their works are unprofitable works, and the work of iniquity is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and make haste to shed innocent blood, their thoughts are unprofitable thoughts, wasting and destruction are in their ways. They have not known the way of peace, and there is no judgment in their steps, their paths are become crooked to them, every one that treadeth in them, knoweth no peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, and justice shall not overtake us. We looked for light, and behold darkness, brightness, and we have walked in the dark. We have groped for the wall and like the blind we have groped as if we had no eyes, we have stumbled at noonday as in darkness, we are in dark places as dead men. We shall roar all of us like bears, and shall lament as mournful doves. We have looked for judgment, and there is none, for salvation, and it is far from us. For our iniquities are multiplied before thee, and our sins have testified against us, for our wicked doings are with us, and we have known our iniquities in sinning and lying against the Lord, and we have turned away so that we went not after our God, but spoke calumny and transgression, we have conceived, and uttered from the heart, words of falsehood. And judgment is turned away backward. And justice hath stood far off, because truth hath fallen down in the street, and equity could not come in. And truth hath been forgotten, and he that departed from evil, lay open to be a prey, and the Lord saw and it appeared evil in his eyes, because there is no judgment. And he saw that there is not a man, 
and he stood astonished, because there is none to oppose himself, and his own arm brought salvation to him, and his own justice supported him. He put on justice as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation upon his head, he put on the garments of vengeance, and was clad with zeal as with a cloak. As unto revenge, as it were to repay wrath to his adversaries, and a reward to his enemies, he will repay the light to the islands. And they from the west, shall fear the name of the Lord, and they from the rising of the sun, his glory, when he shall come as a violent stream, which the Spirit of the Lord driveth on, and there shall come a, Redeemer to Sion, and to them that return from iniquity in Jacob, saith the Lord. This is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is in thee, and my words that I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. This is my covenant, note here a clear promise of perpetual orthodoxy to the Church of Christ. The light of true faith shall shine forth in the Church of Christ, and shall be spread through all nations, and continue for all ages. Arise, be enlightened, O Jerusalem, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold darkness shall cover the earth, and amidst the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall walk in thy light, and kings in the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thy eyes round about, and see, all these are gathered together, they are come to thee, thy sons shall come from afar, and thy daughters shall rise up at thy side. Then shalt thou see, and abound, and thy heart shall wonder and be enlarged, when the multitude of the sea shall be converted to thee, the strength of the Gentiles shall come to thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Madian and Ephah, all they from Saba shall come bringing gold and frankincense, and showing forth praise to the Lord. All the flocks of cedar shall be gathered together unto thee, the rams of Nabaeth shall minister to thee, they shall be offered upon my acceptable altar, and I will glorify the house of my majesty. Who are these, that fly as clouds, and as doves to their windows? For, the islands wait for me, and the ships of the sea in the beginning, that I may bring thy sons from afar, their silver, and their gold with them, to the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the children of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister to thee, for in my wrath have I struck thee, and in my reconciliation have I had mercy upon thee. And thy gates shall be opened continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that the strength of the Gentiles may be brought to thee, and their kings may be brought. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee, shall perish, and the Gentiles shall be wasted with desolation. The glory of Lebanus shall come to thee, the ar tree, and the box tree, and the pine tree together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will glorify the place of my feet. And the children of them that afflict thee, shall come bowing down to thee, and all that slandered thee shall worship the steps of thy feet, and shall call thee the city of the Lord the scion of the Holy One of Israel. Because thou wast forsaken, and hated, and there was none that passed through thee, I will make thee to be an everlasting glory, a joy unto generation and generation. And thou shalt suck the milk of the Gentiles, and thou shalt be nursed with the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord thy Saviour, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron, and I will make thy visitation peace, and thy overseers justice. Iniquity shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction in thy borders, and salvation shall possess thy walls, and praise thy gates. Thou shalt no more have the sun for thy light by day, neither shall the brightness of the moon enlighten thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee for an everlasting light, and thy God for thy glory. Thy sun shall go down no more, and thy moon shall not decrease, for the Lord shall be unto thee for an everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thou shalt no more, in this latter part of the chapter, the prophet passes from the illustrious promises made to the church militant on earth, to the glory of the church triumphant in heaven. And thy people shall be all just, they shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, 
the work of my hand to glorify me. The least shall become a thousand, and a little one a most strong nation, I the Lord will suddenly do this thing in its time. The office of Christ, the mission of the apostles, the happiness of their converts. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me, he hath sent me to preach to the meek, to heal the contrite of heart, and to preach a release to the captives, and deliverance to them that are shut up. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint to the mourners of Sion, and to give them a crown for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, a garment of praise for the spirit of grief, and they shall be called in it the mighty ones of justice, the planting of the Lord to glorify him. And they shall build the places that have been waste from of old, and shall raise up ancient ruins, and shall repair the desolate cities, that were destroyed for generation and generation. And strangers shall stand and shall feed your flocks, and the sons of strangers shall be your husbandmen, and the dressers of your vines. But you shall be called the priests of the Lord, to you it shall be said, Ye ministers of our God, you shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and you shall pride yourselves in their glory. For your double confusion and shame, they shall praise their part, therefore shall they receive double in their land, everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I am the Lord that love judgment, and hate robbery in a holocaust, and I will make their work in truth, and I will make a perpetual covenant with them. And they shall know their seed among the Gentiles, and their offspring in the midst of peoples, all that shall see them, shall know them, that these are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, and my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation, and with the robe of justice he hath covered me, as a bridegroom decked with a crown, and as a bride adorned with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth her seed to shoot forth, so shall the Lord God make justice to spring forth, and praise before all the nations. The prophet will not cease from preaching Christ, to whom all nations shall be converted, and whose church shall continue forever. For Sion's sake I will not hold my peace, and for the sake of Jerusalem, I will not rest till her just one come forth as brightness, and her Saviour be lighted as a lamp. And the Gentiles shall see thy just one, and all kings thy glorious one, and thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. And thou shalt be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be called forsaken, and thy land shall no more be called desolate, but thou shalt be called my pleasure in her, and thy land inhabited. Because the Lord hath been well pleased with thee, and thy land shall be inhabited. For the young man shall dwell with the virgin, and thy children shall dwell in thee. And the bridegroom shall rejoice over the bride, and thy God shall rejoice over thee. Upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, I have appointed watchmen all the day, and all the night, they shall never hold their peace. You that are mindful of the Lord, hold not your peace, and give him no silence till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies, and the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for which thou hast labored. For they that gather it, shall eat it, and shall praise the Lord, and they that bring it together, shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, make the road plain, pick out the stones, and lift up the standard to the people. Behold the Lord hath made it to be heard in the ends of the earth, tell the daughter of Sion, Behold thy Saviour cometh, behold his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. But thou shalt be called, a city sought after, and not forsaken. Christ's victory over his enemies, his mercies to his people, their complaint. Who is this that cometh from Edom, with dyed garments from Basra, this beautiful one in his robe, walking in the greatness of his strength? I, that speak justice, and am a defender to save. Why then is thy apparel red? and thy garments like theirs that tread in the winepress. I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the Gentiles there is not a man with me, I have trampled on them in my indignation, and have trodden them down in my wrath, and their blood is sprinkled upon my garments, 
and I have stained all my apparel. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, the year of my redemption is come. I looked about, and there was none to help, I sought, and there was none to give aid, and my own arm hath saved for me, and my indignation itself hath helped me. Edom, Edom and Basra, a strong city of the Edom, are here taken in a mystical sense for the enemies of Christ and his church. And I have trodden down the people in my wrath, and have made them drunk in my indignation, and have brought down their strength to the earth. I will remember the tender mercies of the Lord, the praise of the Lord for all the things that the Lord hath bestowed upon us, and for the multitude of his good things to the house of Israel, which he hath given them according to his kindness, and according to the multitude of his mercies. And he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not deny so he became their saviour. In all their affliction he was not troubled, and the angel of his presence saved them, in his love, and in his mercy he redeemed them, and he carried them and lifted them up all the days of old. But they provoked to wrath, and afflicted the spirit of his Holy One, and he was turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. And he remembered the days of old of Moses, and of his people, where is he that brought them up out of the sea, with the shepherds of his flock? Where is he that put in the midst of them the spirit of his Holy One? He that brought out Moses by the right hand, by the arm of his majesty, that divided the waters before them, to make himself an everlasting name. He that led them out through the deep, as a horse in the wilderness that stumbleth not. As a beast that goeth down in the field, the Spirit of the Lord was their leader, so didst thou lead thy people to make thyself a glorious name. Look down from heaven and behold from thy holy habitation and the place of thy glory, where is thy zeal, and thy strength, the multitude of thy bowels, and of thy mercies. They have held back themselves from me. They have held back, this is spoken by the prophet in the person of the Jews at the time when, for their sins, they were given up to their enemies. For thou art our father, and Abraham hath not known us, and Israel hath been ignorant of us, thou, O Lord, art our father our Redeemer, from everlasting is thy name. Why hast thou made us to err, O Lord, from thy ways, why hast thou hardened our heart, that we should not fear thee? Return for the sake of thy servants, the tribes of thy inheritance. They have possessed thy holy people as nothing, our enemies have trodden down thy sanctuary. We are become as in the beginning, when thou didst not rule over us, and when we were not called by thy name. Abraham hath not known us, that is, Abraham will not now acknowledge us for his children, by reason of our degeneracy, but thou, O Lord, art our true Father and our Redeemer, and no other can be called our parent in comparison with thee. Hardened our heart, the meaning is, that God in punishment of their great and manifold crimes, and their long abuse of his mercy and grace, had withdrawn his graces from them, and so given them up to error and hardness of heart. The prophet prays for the release of his people, and for the remission of their sins. That thou wouldst rend the heavens, and wouldst come down, the mountains would melt away at thy presence. They would melt as at the burning of fire, the waters would burn with fire, that thy name might be made known to thy enemies, that the nations might tremble at thy presence. When thou shalt do wonderful things, we shall not bear them, thou didst come down, and at thy presence the mountains melted away. From the beginning of the world they have not heard, nor perceived with the ears, the eye hath not seen, O God, besides thee, what things thou hast prepared for them that wait for thee. Thou hast met him that rejoiceth, and doth justice, in thy ways they shall remember thee, behold thou art angry, and we have sinned, in them we have been always, and we shall be saved. And we are all become as one unclean, and all our justices as the rag of a menstruous woman and we have all fallen as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. There is none that calleth upon thy name, that riseth up, and taketh hold of thee, thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast crushed us in the hand of our iniquity. And now, O Lord, thou art our Father, and we are clay, and thou art our Maker, and we all are the works of thy hands. Be not very angry, O Lord, and remember no longer our iniquity. Behold, see we are all of thy people. The city of thy sanctuary is become a desert, Sion is made a desert, Jerusalem is desolate. 
our justices, that is, the works by which we pretended to make ourselves just. This is spoken particularly of the sacrifices, sacraments, and ceremonies of the Jews, after the death of Christ, and the promulgation of the new law. The house of our holiness, and of our glory, where our fathers praised thee, is burnt with fire, and all our lovely things are turned into ruins. Wilt thou refrain thyself, O Lord, upon these things, wilt thou hold thy peace, and afflict us vehemently? The Gentiles shall seek and find Christ, but the Jews will persecute him, and be rejected. Only a remnant shall be reserved. The church shall multiply, and abound with graces. They have sought me that before ask not for me, they have found me that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, to a nation that did not call upon my name. I have spread forth my hands all the day to an unbelieving people, who walk in a way that is not good after their own thoughts. A people that continually provoke me to anger before my face, that emulate in gardens, and sacrifice upon bricks. That dwell in sepulchres, and sleep in the temple of idols, that eat swine as flesh, and profane broth is in their vessels. That say, Depart from me, come not near me, because thou art unclean, these shall be smoke in my anger a fire burning all the day. Behold it is written before me, I will not be silent, but I will render and repay into their bosom. Your iniquities, and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, who have sacrificed upon the mountains, and have reproached me upon the hills, and I will measure back their first work in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as if a grain be found in a cluster, and it be said, Destroy it not, because it is a blessing so will I do for the sake of my servants, that I may not destroy the whole. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah a possessor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And the plain shall be turned to folds of flocks, and the valley of Acre into a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. And you, that have forsaken the Lord, that have forgotten my holy mount, that set a table for fortune and offer libations upon it, I will number you in the sword, and you shall all fall by slaughter, because I called and you did not answer, I spoke, and you did not hear, and you did evil in my eyes, and you have chosen the things that displease me. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold my servants shall eat, and you shall be hungry, behold my servants shall drink, and you shall be thirsty. Behold my servants shall rejoice, and you shall be confounded. Behold my servants shall praise for joyfulness of heart, and you shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for grief of spirit. And you shall leave your name for an execration to my elect, and the Lord God shall all slay thee, and call his servants by another name. In which he that is blessed upon the earth, shall be blessed in God, Amen, and he that sweareth in the earth, shall swear by God, Amen, because the former distresses are forgotten and because they are hid from my eyes. For behold I create new heavens, and a new earth, and the former things shall not be in remembrance, and they shall not come upon the heart. But you shall be glad and rejoice forever in these things, which I create, for behold I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and the people thereof joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall no more be an infant of days there, nor an old man that shall not fill up his days, for the child shall die a hundred years old, and the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses, and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, and eat the fruits of them. They shall not build, and another inhabit, they shall not plant, and another eat, for as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people and the works of their hands shall be of long continuance. My elect shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth in trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their posterity with them. And it shall come to pass, that before they call, I will hear, as they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, the lion and the ox shall eat straw, and dust shall be the serpent as food, they shall not hurt nor kill in all my holy mountain saith the Lord. More of the reprobation of the Jews, and of the call of the Gentiles. Thus saith the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth my footstool, what is this house that you will build to me? 
And what is this place of my rest? My hand made all these things, and all these things were made, saith the Lord. But to whom shall I have respect, but to him that is poor and little, and of a contrite spirit, and that trembleth at my words? He that sacrificeth an ox, is as if he slew a man, he that killeth a sheep in sacrifice, as if he should brain a dog, he that offereth an oblation, as if he should offer swine's blood, he that remembereth incense, as if he should bless an idol. All these things have they chosen in their ways, and their soul is delighted in their abominations. Wherefore I also will choose their mockeries, and will bring upon them the things they feared, because I called, and there was none that would answer, I have spoken, and they heard not, and they have done evil in my eyes, and have chosen the things that displease me. Hear the word of the Lord, you that tremble at his word, your brethren that hate you, and cast you out for my name's sake, have said, Let the Lord be glorified, and we shall see in your joy, but they shall be confounded. What is this house? This is a prophecy that the temple should be cast off. He that sacrificeth an ox, this is a prophecy that the sacrifices which were offered in the old law should be abolished in the new, and that the offering of them should be a crime. Tibid. Remembereth incense, viz., to offer it in the way of a sacrifice. Will choose their mockeries, I will turn their mockeries upon themselves, and will cause them to be mocked by their enemies. A voice of the people from the city, a voice from the temple, the voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she was in labor, she brought forth, before her time came to be delivered, she brought forth a man-child. Who hath ever heard such a thing? And who hath seen the like to this? Shall the earth bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be brought forth at once, because Sion hath been in labor, and hath brought forth her children? Shall not I that make others to bring forth children, myself bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I, that give generation to others, be barren, saith the Lord thy God? Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all you that love her, rejoice for joy with her, all you that mourn for her. Before she was in labor, this relates to the conversion of the Gentiles, who were born, as it were, all on a sudden to the church of God. That you may suck and be filled with the breasts of her consolations, that you may milk out, and flow with delights, from the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold I will bring upon her as it were a river of peace, and as an overflowing torrent the glory of the Gentiles, which you shall suck, you shall be carried at the breasts, and upon the knees they shall caress you. As one whom the mother caresseth, so will I comfort you, and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see and your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants, and he shall be angry with his enemies. For behold the Lord will come with fire, and his chariots are like a whirlwind, to render his wrath in indignation, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For the Lord shall judge by fire, and by his sword unto all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that were sanctified and thought themselves clean in the gardens behind the gate within, they that did eat swine's flesh, and the abomination, and the mouse, they shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. But I know their works, and their thoughts, I come that I may gather them together with all nations and tongues, and they shall come and shall see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send of them that shall be saved, to the Gentiles and to the sea, into Africa, and Lydia them that draw the bow into Italy, and Greece, to the islands afar off, to them that have not heard of me, and have not seen my glory. And they shall declare my glory to the Gentiles, and they shall bring all your brethren out of all nations for a gift to the Lord, upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and on mules, and in coaches, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, saith the Lord, as if the children of Israel should bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will take of them to be priests, and Levites, saith the Lord. For as the new heavens, and the new earth, which I will make to stand before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed stand, and your name. And there shall be month after month, and Sabbath after Sabbath, and all flesh shall come to adore before my face, saith the Lord. And they shall go out, and see the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me, their worm shall not die and their fire shall not be quenched, 
and they shall be a loathsome sight to all flesh. Mm-hmm.